as you're about to see, unexpected crowd responses, egos colliding, and everything in between have all been responsible for making wrestlers lose their cool, or feel as though this supposedly fake sport has become a touch too real for their liking. I'm Gareth from What Culture Wrestling, and here are 10 wrestling moments too real for wrestlers. Number 10. Becky Lynch gives Charlotte Flair a piece of her mind. SmackDown 2021. Not too long removed from getting a little heavy-handed in her contest with Nia Jax on the August 30th edition of Raw, the Queen found herself in the thick of another very much shoot-on-screen moment opposite a recently returned Becky Lynch. The two former pals were scripted to ridiculously exchange titles on October 22nd SmackDown, but Flair was evidently having none of it, and threw her red belt away from Lynch before the latter launched her blue strap at her counterpart. While that aforementioned Jax shoot exchange was said to have stayed in the ring. Lynch was understandably so pissed by the on-air embarrassment that she unleashed hell on the now SmackDown star as soon as they got in the back. The two were separated and Flair was soon escorted off the premises, with the genuine animosity between the pair eventually being used to build towards an admittedly excellent Survivor Series 2021 battle of the brassed off badasses. Number 9. The Rock Can't Handle His Confusion Royal Rumble 2015 With many a fan simply frothing at their mouth to see their tribal chief finally collide with a certain great one on the grandest stage of them all, the events that unfolded following arguably the most despised Rumble result of all time feel like they could have gone down in a completely different timeline. But they most definitely did not, and the record will always show that even the seemingly unflappable Dwayne The Rock Johnson had to take a second to pinch himself at the reality he'd been exposed to back in January 2015. Hot on the heels of helping his cousin Roman Reigns see off the authority and pick up a supposedly heroic babyface victory in the titular match, a sea of boos washed over the Samoan titans as Rocky attempted to give the next generation his glowing endorsement. Cue a look of sheer bewilderment on Rock's face as he struggled to think of a way to salvage the clear rejection of the pair, or more specifically Roman in this moment. When Rocky can't hide the shock at the authentically hostile reception he's receiving, you know you've done something catastrophically wrong. Number 8. A Vince McMahon prank is the last straw for Mark Henry, SmackDown 2011. Finding yourself on the receiving end of a childish prank always holds the potential to leave you wanting to bust some heads. When your name just so happens to be Mark Henry, though, you'd think the threat of that type of violent response would be enough to deter anyone from trying to pull a fast one on the world's strongest man. But not even the former world heavyweight champion could escape Vince McMahon's penchant for the juvenile. Yeah, and after one particularly frustrating prank, Henry actually found himself on the verge of calling it quits entirely. As the monstrous worker hit the ring to wrestle Sin Cara in a SmackDown dark match in 2011, he was eventually stunned to find that he'd been stood up. Before long, Henry would storm into the backstage area and discover a ghost town, only to unleash all-out hell. He then finally smashed through the absent boss's door before blasting McMahon down the phone for not respecting him and confessing he was done. A remorseful Vince made up with Henry the next day, as you probably would too if a raging Mark Henry came smashing through your door. Number 7. The Miz Can't Watch His Concussion Back WrestleMania 27 It's not exactly breaking news to declare that concussions are no joke, ladies and gentlemen, and they can definitely make for seriously difficult watching should a performer unfortunately find themselves on the receiving end of one. That's precisely the position The Miz found himself in during what should have been the biggest moment of his wrestling career, as he went one-on-one -on -one with a star who'd spearheaded the company for an age on the grandest stage. On top of not remembering his career peak moment as a WWE wrestler, though, the former WWE champion has since confessed that he refuses to go back and watch his Mania 27 showdown with John Cena due to the concussed state he was left in after his head bounced off the concrete mid-match. Thankfully, Miz would get another brief moment in the sun, but it's just a shame his frightening show of shows barricade bump has marred what could have been his finest hour. Number 6. John Moxley and Seth Rollins aren't pleased about a heel turn on Roman's night, Raw 2018. The night of October 22nd, 2018 sits as perhaps one of the most difficult and raw evenings ever to grace WWE programming. It was on this episode of Raw when Roman Reigns revealed to the world that his leukemia was back. It wasn't long before close pals Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins were on hand to show their support on the ramp. 
with both men clearly shook up by the very real emotional gut punch. But as you're no doubt aware of by now, this night also saw the unexpected heel turn of the soon-to-be departing Ambrose, a move which appeared to shamelessly capitalize on the crowd's guard being well and truly dropped. Rollins would later confess that both men weren't exactly happy with the call to pull the trigger at this moment. Mox would also eventually note his regret over using Reigns' situation in promos, and even so Chris Jericho over time he felt the boss had gone too far with one particular phrase, putting his foot down before letting, as he called it, the worst line out into the universe. Number 5. Randy Savage Gets a Little More Bite For His Book WWF Superstars of Wrestling 1991 on occasion, the wrestling business throws up a scenario that can be quite difficult to fully explain to the average television consumer. Jake the Snake Roberts' pet snake chomping down on macho man Randy Savage's arm most definitely falls into that bizarre category. But this wasn't merely a case of the pair thinking up a genius way of getting more eyes on their feud and getting right to it. An understandably concerned Savage wasn't entirely convinced his arm wouldn't drop off following the bite, so had the snake's keeper withstand his own chomp backstage beforehand. As Roberts would later recall, Call, the legendary figure demanded he not move a muscle following a 3-4 to four second bite from the animal. Jake turned out to be fine, obviously. When it came time for the actual in-ring angle, however, the snake would stay clamped to Macho Man's arm for what felt like an eternity, resulting in Savage's arm blowing up like a balloon for days. In another unexpected turn of events, said Reptile would then drop dead a few weeks later. Clearly nobody checked to see if the Macho Man was de-veminized, did they? Number 4. Dominic's teachers thought Eddie was his pappy. Summer Slam 2005. Though he's very much forging his own path as part of the chaotic WWE machine in modern times, few will ever forget the controversial storyline that gave Dominic Mysterio his first real starring role on Vince McMahon's product. Capturing the interest of even the most casual of fan at the time, for better or worse, Dom found himself in the thick of a custody battle between his apparent real pappy, Eddie Guerrero, and the dad he'd always known, Rey Mysterio. Now, obviously, this entire soap opera drama was an elaborate work from start to finish, but that still didn't stop the youngsters' concerned teachers from checking in on Dom to see how he was dealing with the whole scenario. In fact, some folks were so convinced by what they were seeing unfold on television that the young Mysterio has even confessed having to confirm to those educating him that Ray was actually his biological father. How Dom isn't completely messed up at this point is a miracle in itself. Number 3. Julia Hart's Sister Can't Handle Malachi's Mist AEW Dynamite 2021 As I just noted, the world of wrestling can be a tough one to navigate for youngsters, whether they're a part of the actual action or simply watching on from home. After all, this is the same place that throws 60-minute wrestling showcases at your one minute and fades to black before a demonic figure spits venom at an innocent soul the next. It was that latter exchange that left the victim in question, Julia Hart's sister, feeling a little worse for wear as she watched her sibling white black mist out of her eyes on a recent episode of AEW Dynamite. The former cheerleader would eventually reveal that this sinister sequence was so unsettling for her sis that she soon received a phone call filled with tears and fears as she thought Hart was legitimately in a bad way following on from the act. Say what you want about whether or not you feel this type of supernatural shtick still has a place in front of an audience that appears to grow more cynical by the year, but there will always be young'uns out there who recoil at the sight of a mad Malachi doing malicious things. Number 2. Brock Lesnar throws a tantrum after a limp main event, WrestleMania 34. 2018's Road to WrestleMania was a funny old time indeed. Once again, the idea of Brock Lesnar colliding with Roman Reigns over the company's world title was at the top of the menu, and fans had already grown tired of seeing the two gladiators go to war. However, another variable in the form of the Beast's contract supposedly being up around this time, and a much-touted switch back over to the land of legitimacy definitely added some spice to proceedings. Yet by the time the pair had done their business in the Mania 34 main event, the sight of Lesnar walking out of the show still Universal Champion to the sound of wholesale apathy appeared to confirm his staying on with WWE. Clearly less than impressed by the poorly received Mega Mash though, Lesnar soon trudged backstage and launched his strap at McMahon in a fit of fury. Some have actually suggested this was due to an apparent last-minute change of plan, with Lesnar being told late he was retaining instead of losing the belt, not allowing the former UFC champion to pursue other outside interests. Number 1. Rocky and Mick Go Too Far In Front Of The Kids Royal Rumble 1999 Making a career out of absolutely murdering his own body for our entertainment, there were times during Mick Foley's WWE heyday as the unstable mankind when fans genuinely questioned if the hardcore legend actually had any limits. Well, as it goes, 
shows, Foley would eventually decree that there was one moment in particular where he felt as though both himself and his rival went a little bit too far. With Mankind and The Rock going to all-out war at the 1999 Royal Rumble event in an I Quit match, Foley had his skull absolutely obliterated by a frightening amount of steel chair shots on the night. On top of the visual and damage inflicted being frankly barbaric in its own right, Foley's family were also in attendance on the night and watched on in horror as their daddy got massacred before their very eyes. Mick would later note, I don't feel like such a good dad anymore, when watching the Beyond the Mat footage back. Also, when taking to Twitter to salute the 22nd anniversary of the carnage this year, Foley would confess, I think The Rock and I may have gone a little too far on this particular evening. You can say that again, Mick. And that's our list. Know any other wrestling moments too real for wrestlers? Let us know all about them in the comment section right down below. And do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button. Also, be sure to head on over to whatculture.com and find some more incredible articles just like the one this video you are watching is based on. I've been Gareth from What Culture Wrestling. Thank you, as always, for clicking on this video today. And I'm sure I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.